electrons and atoms behave as giraffes. Wait, no, waves. Weird? Yes. Easy to understand? Not really. Important? Definitely. The whole periodic table, all of the amazing properties of the elements, come down to the properties and behaviors of these electron waves. Let's recap what we know about electron waves. 1. The more loops that they have, the higher in energy and larger they are. That's n, the principal quantum number. 2. Their shape depends on the number of nodal planes in the wave. That's L, the azimuthal quantum number. To understand the properties of single electron species, we can pretty much stop here, but that would be no fun. After all, the interesting elements all have more than one electron. So what other properties do we need to know? One thing we have already intuited is that electrons will be the lowest possible energy wave unless you do something to them. We call the lowest energy state of an atom its ground state. What is the ground state of a hydrogen atom? Hydrogen's electron is a 1s electron unless it is excited. This is another principle of electrons, so let's add to our list with number 3. Electrons will always be in the lowest possible energy state that they can be. This is the Aufbau principle. There is one more principle that's a little harder to intuit, the Pauli exclusion principle. It says that you can't have two electrons with identical quantum numbers, but you can have two 1s electrons in an atom and even more 2p electrons. Right now, this might be a little confusing. For this to make sense, we need to talk about a few more quantum numbers. That'll be the topic of the next few videos.